Uh, there we go. It's recording. Go for it. Okay. So where we ended last, uh, we were all scattered about in uh, Mornatiri in the capital of Nerith. And so now, the next morning, you guys had made very tentative plans to set out and follow dear Philip to his key. Where's everybody at? What are you up to? Uh, I do have a game related question now. Oh, so. God. Okay, what? <laughs> Who is Philip again? That's Green's character, a little owl guy. Green. Okay, sorry. I'm I'll go down the list and all. remind everybody. We have Eternal, who plays Timothy. He's the guy with the ghosts and the mummies. Uh, Green plays Philip, the little owl. We have Kamali, who plays our wonderful elder badger. We have you, Polarix, who plays people um i can't remember any of your names right now <laughs> we know. have uh it's serenia it's who Daniel. plays marisol and we have specter who plays colin gregory cheese so you remembered everyone's name except for mine you have more than one i feel like i'm allowed to not remember you <laughs> i don't know who the fuck you are right now fucking spoilers damien is who you are right now that is the only one that's been introduced to me. And if you have more oh. than one, let me no, don't don't let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. You're I think you're Damien right now. I'm Damien. Says memory serves. So where we left off, most of you were in the tavern or near the tavern. Uh like squatters, you you animals. I paid. <laughs> hey, I, hey, I, I, I at the very least went ahead and paid for my food. Cute. Okay. I absolutely didn't pay for shit. Yeah, I pay for my room and for my food so I can research in peace. Did the folks who wandered off last night return to the tavern ever? Uh, uh yeah. yeah. Cool. Damien will shamelessly walk out of Marisol. Ooh. So. <laughs> Sun's rising. You have some early risers in the tavern getting breakfast. Uh, mostly the people who run the shops in on the street. So like lots of blacksmiths. Ah, uh, there's some like polar bears and and seals and penguins and such. And of course there's other humanoid races eating breakfast. And those of you who come down to the dining room this morning, uh, you get some some glances and. It looks like they're, everyone's like, who, are, who the hell are these people? What are they doing here? Why do you all make me feel that way? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Timothy is an early riser because too much sleep means lack of research. He mm. sleeps the minimal he needs, and then he wakes up. Every Solid day, 30 same time. Minutes. If only he could sleep that long, <laughs> he would. <laughs> Hey, we're master of power. Yeah, so he's up very early. I'm gonna say you've all wandered into the main dining room now, and you all see each other. Morning, all. So fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Timmy just does a slight wave, and while he's reading a book. <laughs> Good morning. Anybody seen Granny? Which one is that? It's Kamali, the badger. That was an in character question. Oh, got you, my bad. Mm, uh, the, the badger. Ah. Uh, no, I have not. Hmm. Eh, it must be taking a while to get up. Uh -huh. Because Granny is not talking right now. <laughs> I kind of look at the seals in the room and like, there are a lot of national predators here. <laughs> Not even the least bit as ferocious as Granny, trust me. Granny shuffles in, looking a little bit sleepy. Oh, good morning, dears. Have you had your breakfast yet? No, not yet, Granny. Just about ready to stop sitting down. See Timothy eating while reading. Then there's a map in front of him. He took a whole table to himself. Oh, great. Oh, dear Lord. He walks past you and gives you a little pat on the shoulder. He says, oh, there's a good boy eating your breakfast. Here, have a little mint. 
she leave a mint on the table next year? He's he's Jeez. gonna get it later. Mm. I'm disappointed. Next what? time I want to hear a rooster crow and then someone like, Shut up, Greg. Kaka! Shut up, Greg. Too late. Damn. Well, Kaka, you have time? you ever heard of fucking rooster? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you next time. God damn it, Greg! <laughs> Woof! I chased a Kaka! <laughs> It's a it's an eagle who thinks he's, he thinks he's a rooster, and that's why everyone hates him. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You gotta have a hawk do that here. Eagles can't call, uh, can't call for. Birds. Oh, it's a hawk. Okay. Yeah. I like not domesticated birds, man. I have nothing for you on on birds of prey. Timothy, who the fuck are you talking to? Oh. What? I didn't say anything. What? <laughs> oh, you're not Timothy. Fuck. Who's the mouse? <laughs> Colin. Call him. Damn it. There's so many of us now. Let me just pull up the PC list. Keep yeah. and none of you named your characters. Did Including I not? I, I did. I didn't. They're in order. T uh, Timothy was the only one. No, Philip did as well. Yeah, okay. Two. Oh, yeah, well, that's easy enough to fix here. Timothy, Philip, Granny, Marisol, Colin. There you go. Those of us that didn't want to reveal our names until we did it in character. Oh, oh I, I wait as well until I say it in character. Anyway, um, what are we doing? Well, now that's a good, that's a good thing to t uh, to bring up here. Actually, uh, there's something I've been trying to tell you, but we've been a bit on the well bit on the get out of towny sort of side there. Eh? Look, there's a cult. They want to kill us. They're after us. We need to get out of town here. But moreover, one of them is actually here in this town. You mean Big Philip? What? Big Philip. There was Little Philip and Big Philip. No, 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 no. I'm talking or was about that Philip? No, no, Philip's, Philip's right the there. Owl. Or or Joseph. The owl. Joseph. Thank you. God, I'm bad with names. It says the guy who has like 17,000 of them. Yeah, Jesus, got... geez. You want to just tell <laughs> my whole back uh, for it? With, uh, with names there, there buddy. Uh, now, look here. One of them is here in this in, around here. His name is the Ghost, I believe. Now, right. I don't know too much about him. Not gonna be, not gonna be lying. <laughs> if some of you from last time will remember, uh, I think specifically you, Philip. I don't remember who ruled high. On I this one. did as yeah. well. The the ghost is a local ghost story. Uh, he steals kids from their beds, and he just is made out of shadow. And apparently, he likes to live in old ruins. That's how. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I was. About yeah, I think yeah. I, I knew about where it, like the the ruins. So I remembered taking notes for the session. I finally oh, found good. them. <laughs> I found them, and they're just <laughs> shitty one-liners for my inspiration. I dig yeah. that. Perfect. <laughs> I, I did that for another character too. God damn it! I had oh, Kubard. Wait, did I put notes in the next? Nah. You hand wrote your notes. Fancy. Now I gotta ask. Uh, this guy it just this... says oh, just God. three random ass names. <laughs> what are the names? Uh, Morna Tyrion Nurith. Morna Tyrion is the name of the town you're in. Nurith is the name of the country you're in. Ah, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we're getting to a wonderful start. <laughs> Oh. I don't know about you all, but I kind of want to stay, keep my nose clean of all these this year cult business. Oh, the cult is the least of our worries. Yes, yeah, so. sir. Well, the gatekeepers get to find their keys. You know, right? you uh, the from is here, right? From behind, uh. Rose will kind of poke her head out and she'll say, 
I have a question. Go on. I tried to do some things that maybe weren't that great. That's that question. Would you like to see something? It might help. What? Oh no. You give off that vibe of like, hey kids, wanna see a dead body? <laughs> You haven't done anything I nasty, have you? Your, I respect that, but at the same time, the fuck. <laughs> anything bad. Well, that's subjective, isn't it? I think it would make a lot more sense if you just followed. Uh, can, somebody, uh, can somebody lend a shoulder? I'll hold out my hand. Uh, not that... Uh, Bucket. I mean, you gotta get up. Do you want me to just pick you up by my shoulder? You want to walk like a dignified mouse? You uh, holding out a hand is very rude to a mouse. Uh, How so? Just trust me. No. Too bad. I'm just gonna scurry up your arm. <laughs> uh, I will walk outside. And cheese. I'm gonna go to where I was painting before. <laughs> okay. Uh, who all followed? I will follow. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I currently have a lot of shit on the table that I'm not going to leave. So I it yeah, takes I'll like follow. five minutes for Timothy to pack up all his books, but eventually yeah. <laughs> I'll be he's following. following. Me. <laughs> while, while he's doing that, God, I, I'll like hold up my loot. Like, hey, I dropped a pig in here. Can you go in there and get that? Talking to you, Colin. I don't think he can hear you. No, I guess not. Josh? Hey, oh, what <laughs> Sorry, I'm still caffeinating Jesus. right now. <laughs> you guys are really good and invested in this game, I can tell. Yeah, I, I, am. I am. I am. I am, <laughs> I am caffeinating right now here. Trying to, trying to RP. I've given myself a new exception. Alright, instead of complaining, come on. Come on. Fill me in here. I zoned okay. out. After Timothy packs up all his books, uh, Marisol leads you through the city streets. Uh, it's it's pretty busy this morning. It's a little it's chilly. Uh, you it's early spring, so it's like not as cold as it could be, but it's not warm either. And uh, you guys get glances from everybody you pass, and kids especially are like like saucer plates for eyes. They're like whoa. Look at these guys. These guys give off weird vibes. Uh, while that's happening, can I I would like to not pay attention, and then as soon as I notice that there's a child looking at me, I'd like <laughs> to just turn my head to the side really slowly and then give him like that really sadistic, creepy smile. Oh, this little Arctic Fox baby just starts crying. <laughs> and, 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 like runs away and joins <laughs> a band of like four other Arctic Fox kids and their parents and is and now all the kids are looking at you and the littlest one is glaring right back at you just as intensely. Uh, <laughs> flick Mary's phone before <laughs> the kids start laughing. Well, now I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's still crying, but laughing Don't through her scare little tears. the children. <laughs> um okay so yeah i i lead you guys to yes that's perfect Greek. <laughs> <laughs> considering the character is fucking creepy yeah oh my god <laughs> so i lead you guys to the uh is it was it exactly the dungeon that we were in cheese or was it like a hallway like an alley. Did you draw your thing in the dungeon, or were you like how close? Because I know you left. Hmm. Yeah, but... I think it was. <sighs> it was in the alley. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you guys, as you get close to the alley where your dungeon had let out from, um, it gets quieter here. Like less and less people have come to this area since even the last time that you all were here. There's, it's just. 
kind of eerie. And as you get closer, it's it's almost dead silent. Like you can barely hear the sailors calling out to each other and people talking in the streets. But um, and the and the door to the dungeon is closed. And uh, the drawing that dear Marisol did is still there. Cool. Um, do you want to post it or should yep, I? Yep. Let me find it. <laughs> it's in our DMs. I should have been infinitely more prepared for this, but here we are. Uh. Yep. Yeah, no. You see a drawing of this man. Yeah. This is the man that was attempting to kill us. He didn't seem at all very surprised that I had stayed behind trying to assassinate him first. He teleported away? Like poof. Like poof. What well, well, that's that's all. Do any of us recognize the man? No. Does he fit <laughs> any descriptions that I have of a certain someone? Uh, other than the basics, elf, dark hair, the scar. N yeah. I'm also, gonna, no. You know when you, like, poke someone in the ribs and it makes them jump? Yeah. I'm gonna do that to Timothy so he can pay attention. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Why do you do that? Do you recognize this person? I look up from my book. Do I recognize this person? Um, he looks vaguely familiar, but you can't place where. Vaguely, but not all the way. Do I care about this person? Are you Russian now? Yes. You dig I it. Mean, he tried to kill us. That was more of a question for God. Oh, yes, this, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was more sarcastic nice manner. <laughs> <laughs> According to what uh, Marisol had to say, this is likely the man who had a hand in your kidnapping. To be fair, I'm also cleric, so I could just be speaking to God at any time. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you get a vibe that, uh, yeah, you should probably hear about that guy. Yeah, a uh, quick question. Uh, have I seen this face in the last month? No. Cool. Then, like, to me, it's like, I don't really remember him, and I remember most people, so I seen him Somewhere. It's like a solid chance you could just you just saw someone who kinda looked like him. I, I yeah. don't think you could actually pin it down if you tried. Yeah, like Timothy doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. remember most faces. <laughs> Likely it was just another elf dude you saw. It could really be anybody. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, sort of familiar. On same as with uh Timothy yet. Yeah. Sort of. Um, can I see if the dungeon door will open? You can try. <laughs> um, you yank on the handle, and it's locked. Can I try to break said lock? Sure. Uh, we, this is not going to end well, is it? I look, I could just walk in and just unlock it. <laughs> I'm just not <laughs> <laughs> How do you want me to do that? Um, how are you going to try to break the lock? Well, I have thieves tools. Oh, yeah, you can try that. Go for it. What exactly are we going to oh, get from the GM. dungeon again? Um, Whatever she's trying to tell us. I think that works. Um, You pick the lock, and it it's one of those big... The big clunky ones. Big iron one. And it, it pops off. And do you open the door? Yes. Uh, you open the door and you're met with a brick wall. Does it have um, anything that I would recognize on the bricks? <clears throat> like before? Uh, it's like a continuation of the wall before. Um, the carving you had seen last time is still above the door. But there's no... And, and these bricks are a little bit discolored, like they've been hidden, but not too much. Does it look like it's fresh? No. 
Yeah. Whatever it is, ain't fresh. Been there for a while. But wait, this is the pl same place we was at before. So what do they look like? Uh, just a continuation of the wall around it. Just okay. like set back a little bit further. Can I... I got that spell. Aha! Sure. Can I ritually cast the decked magic? That's an hour, my guy. God, that's ten minutes. That is a, ten, <laughs> it's, it's a ritual caster casting. It's it's ten minutes. Wow, I think he's that wrong. You no, spend ten minutes. Well, you're all hours. getting increasingly cold, uh, and you. Ha ha! I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> you detect uh, transfiguration magic. Can I tell where it's coming from? From the wall. Hmm. Where the where the stairs used to be. Let's just go back upstairs. We're already upstairs. We we never Yeah, you're kinda like down. No, I mean like leave this place. You do have a key to track down. I mean, is there a key in here? Why would there be a key? On this continent. <laughs> yeah, let's just yeah. not worry about this place and go find the key. Yeah, uh, while they were doing that, Timothy's trying to remember something. Did oh, someone ever mention, he's trying to remember if anybody said there was a key on this continent. There is. Somebody mentioned it. I think Philip's key. No, that's what he was trying to remember, like, who's who said they knew there was a key? And he's like... Philip, do you know where the key is or which direction? Mm, it's the west. Uh, do I know a direction? Yeah, yes, I can hear from from God now. It's west <laughs> that way, about a mile out. Which um, God? Like a day's trap. What are the it's gods? About a mile. God, Nicole, there's you? technically three. There's the creators and then the planet itself. Okay. Though the yeah, old deceased uh, planets are like kind of seen as gods, they're just not like active gods because they're dead. I thought they were like constellations. Though. Well, yeah, they're constellations in the sky, but they're they're considered gods because they were alive once, but now they're dead, so they have no. It's like if um, they can't interact uh, because they are uh, dead. Yeah, it's like if Cleopatra was a god because she had all the water and all the food and all or the like money Buddha. and everything. They're kind of like yeah. Buddha. Yeah, uh, but Dabba is actively alive, well, dying. And yeah. the creators are out there somewhere. Uh, uh, Tony, yeah. Theology, ladies and gentlemen. Theology lessons. Yeah. yeah I think it was in the hand up. Uh, yeah, um, Timothy will take off his weird rounded bag and set it down and open it from the top. Like, I think I have a map somewhere. He just goes in, just looking for the map he has. Pulls it out. Uh, and shows there. Philip. Yeah, it shows Philip. <laughs> but, um, you guys are the, the, this is. Yeah, um, it's my, like, the map I have, it is of this continent, right? Yes, and then you have a little X mark in the woods over here. Yes. Yes. Would you say it's in this direction? Correct. Oh, wonderful. That is I've been meaning to go there. Yes, I've found it. In one of my excavations in the ruin. So uh, it might come in handy one day. Most of you would know that Nerith is not a very big island. It's one of the smaller ones. Uh, so it would take you about a day to get where you are. Um, and total, if you were to cross the entire island, it would take about three days. Not a very big island at all. Hi, um... I'm gonna look at Marisol and, like, do we need to go in here? Um, she seems very conflicted, like wrought with some kind of like she's in deep thought. Um. I wanted to know if they were still down there. Okay. If um, if they are hunting us, then we do not need to search for them. We'll find them eventually. Right. Mm. Can I borrow your lockpicks? 
people that pick a wall. Yeah, oh, it's just a wall? Yeah, yeah there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's a, the oh, door. Behind oh, there the was door a door was there, a and you opened it, and then you're met with a oh, brick wall. Fucking where stairs used to be. Dispel magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, you put it in the casket for me. Let me read. Magical effect. I choose that ten transfiguration I found earlier. <coughs> mm. Wait. Well, As if it's a still a magical bit. effect. Wait, what you with the magic? <laughs> um, what we see. The door disappears instead of the wall. Can I place my hand on the wall? Yeah, it's solid brick. Solid brick. Also, the door was magic. <sighs> the, door... Oh, the wall is magic. Yeah, the door was a transportation. Okay. Transported. He'll kind of rub his chin for a second. It could be one of two things. You have to cast the spell again to be sure. No. <laughs> well, my tech magic should still be up. Uh, yeah, you dispelled the... Okay. Do I sense that this is just like the end of the road, or someone had bricked up the room? It's just a wall now with a weird indent shaped like a door in it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, and this might be useful for us when we before we get there. Um, from the research I did on the dungeon right here, there's there's supposedly a sleeping giant in the steps. So that might be something we are going to have to deal with if it's guarding the key. This gives me an idea. We are focusing right I'm gonna, so on a door. I'm, gonna work I, I'm not focusing on the door. I forgot about it. I'm trying <laughs> to go to this place uh, well, that me, I've hey, been trying hey, to go to. Here. Let me get on your shoulder at least. It seems like you're going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Timothy, just come over. Like I just kind of pick go. up the mouse oh. and just I, toss I, him towards Timothy. I stab him. I stab <laughs> him. You're a mouthy little shit. I'm gonna stab I, him. Are you go. trying to not get stabbed? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stab. Okay. Him. Um, roll to stab, and then Damien roll to chuck mouse. I guess. What would that? Oh, me, give me a uh, like a like a. Just roll me decks, like to toss him <laughs> and not get hit. Oh. <laughs> okay. A one and a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you get a, a solid slice across the back of your hand. Why? What? You know what? I'm not going to care. I've got bigger things to do. I don't, I uh, don't like being picked up. Well, I love. Sorry, well, baby. we. Yes, it's it's fine. We seem to know where we have to go, though. Um, I don't know how long he's going to be looking at the wall, so I rather just start getting ready to go. I'll come with you, Granny. You um, gonna be okay? Yes, dear. I'm just following. Okay. I don't shoot the mouse. <laughs> okay. Uh, retcon a little bit instead of. <laughs> of Damien taking the damage, <laughs> Marisol reaches out and like slaps her hand over Damien's hand, and she, she gets a slice across the hand instead. Uh oh. That is the that is the person that I do not want to stab. Fuck. <laughs> it's an appropriate uh, reaction. We don't I think. stab each other. <laughs> yeah, you. Mari will look over at the mouse. Uh, and you'll distinctly notice that her right eye that's yellow is turning very, very, like, silver-esque. And she will say, If it is a fight that you want, I'm far more interesting. If you, are, if you two are done being this, oh. we have places to be. It, gonna, this is getting us nowhere. I'm gonna do one last thing. <laughs> I'll place my hand on Marisol's shoulder and say, He is just a small thing trying to feel big. Yeah. And I'm gonna cast Vicious Box. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you two so 
anti group. <laughs> You met I'm not anti group. Uh, I'm he defending. stabbed me. <laughs> you picked me up. You. That is you very. In, that is not very cool. It's you wanted off he my almost shoulder. Almost stabbed you. Uh, Colin, it bruises your ego, but not. It doesn't bruise you yeah. physically. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what the vicious mockery is all about. Yeah. Can we just go on a? I'm gonna go ahead and say this for the record. Above game, that's fucking brilliant, dude. That was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Timothy just like sees them just being annoying and just walks away. Uh, as he's walking, though, he will call his maid up from the sea and say, Come here, Lyle, we have to go. We have to get ready. A spooky ass witch wraith thing like lunges up from the depths and crawls its way on <laughs> like towards you, like the grudge. Yeah, Timothy doesn't look <laughs> weird about it. And he just why there's Philip. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and then yeah, and no, then Tim yeah. <laughs> uh, while she's while, while the specter is coming towards him, Timothy starts pulling out an umbrella and opening it, and the wraith and the specter just floats under it, and they just walk together like it's normal. <laughs> that, is, I... that is creepy. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Um, After I was say, Philip, do you actually cast that? No. Do you think about casting it? No. Okay. I think about casting it, but no. But Philip doesn't. No. Okay. Can I, after the mouse debacle, can I make a shitty medicine roll check to pound up Marisol's hand? Her. <laughs> <laughs> make sure I'm not on advantage this time. Hey, 15, that's not bad. You bind her hand. Oh, uh, also, I don't think that will heal anything. I don't know how her anatomy and or physiology works. Uh, do you even bleed, Marisol? Yeah. Uh -huh. like, like, unwillingly? <laughs> Do you bleed? Do you bleed uh, yeah. unwillingly? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do we ever bleed willingly? That I is mean, a good question. Yeah. I get stabbed and like, hmm, I choose to pump blood out of my open stab wound. Bless you. I mean, did you not see Marisol fight? <laughs> she straight up fights yeah. with her fucking blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why she's, I did not want to stab her. creepy as shit. That was just a, <laughs> just a thought provoking. She's like, yeah, I mean, that, was, <laughs> she, that was brilliant. She's like a dead man Wonderland character. You're right. So you, exactly you do bleed you unwillingly? Uh, yeah. Okay. Then the bandage works and serves a purpose. Okay. I'm not going to lie, Timothy. I think she's really way scarier than him. Oh, I don't know. She's not that scary. I've seen worse. I shudder to think what you have seen in order to be. He's besties with a grudge. I literally have a aspect a ghost rock <laughs> me. I've seen a lot of weird shit. <laughs> have you ever been made to be um, the host of a undead lich that wants to use your body and destroy no. your soul? No. Uh, <laughs> no. I've seen a lot of things. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a lot of things. That is not one of them. Oh, then I seen worse. He is walking. He's still smiling. Like he's happy that he's going to a dungeon. <laughs> like, so oh, are you job. leading the way out of town? Uh, he's going to go get something to eat so, uh, for the road because he doesn't have road rations yet. He's so he has to go buy some first. I don't. Think uh, I then are we all rations for me and you here? Sorry, uh, my rations. Are so are small. we all prepping to leave? Yeah, that's what Timothy's doing. I'm not doing a shopping montage. You buy all your shit and you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, as we're we walking, we got shit to do today. No shopping montages right now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, as, as we're later. walking, yeah, as we're walking out, having to say, "Oh, and if we do need to make camp," uh, he is, he's saying it to the dude on the show. It's like, "Oh, if we do need to make camp, I can make us a place to stay." Oh, that's lovely. You won't have to actually yes. buy a tent. You don't know how oh, hard I... it is to buy a tent in my size. Oh, it's fine. I could just make a tower. Don't you just need to get like a napkin? Actually, Colin, I think it's fairly easy. They wouldn't yeah. make, like it's big like... size tents. They have all the leftover fabric. Yeah, but yeah, so they do make tents for small here. people. <laughs> Everything. This is a world in which beasts are accommodated fairly well. Yeah. You were part of society. I may be part of society, but mouses don't like to go anywhere where it's cold. Where's all their small okay. rodents? Okay, it's fine. I, I just make a tower for us. It's just fine. The smallest like thing a, that, I can what? Here, that I can get like here is probably for a seagull. I, I can literally make a wizard's tower. Let's get the move on. 
Wait, how do you already have that? Oh boy, it's a, it's a third level spell. Oh Are you talking about Tiny Hut? No, I don't think he's this. It's literally a third level spell. Oh, this I've from? never seen this spell before. Uh, I have no fight seen it. <laughs> is this uh, a homebrew spell that... or is it in game? It's in game. It's on DD Beyond. It's, game. it's, what? it's more recent. Let me take a look at this bullshit. It's not in the compendium, but I'll let it slide. It's, it's on it's DD Beyond. Okay. You don't. You, you just don't own the book. Oh well. Pop up. Yeah, I, I got the spell off DD Beyond. <laughs> it is from. It is from Lost Laboratory of Qual Qualish. Qualish. Huh. Never yeah, heard, heard of that one. But there's a lot of stuff I ain't heard of. Yeah, I can just literally make a wizard stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, everyone's like, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I well, can just do this. Uh, above game, fuck you, I spent hours building camp maps with tents, but whatever. I'm sorry, I, th I forgot <laughs> to send this to you. I didn't think I, didn't think I need to make this snow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You buy all your shit, uh, and you set out on the road. Yeah, I can get my own self a fireplace and everything. I live lavishly when I can. What you talking about? Do we yeah, are I we just walking, or do we get do. like a? Do we get like um, a wagon and cart? I'll give you guys a cart. It fits you all. You get you get a horse, uh, fairly sprightly. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. Anyone make... good with animals? <laughs> No. Other than the animals. I think it's I a talking horse, horse, actually. He runs a taxi service. Um, It's called Hoover. It's like Uber, but he's a horse. So Hoover, Hoover get it? Uh, I do, <laughs> and I hate um, it. I, that, is, that is a terrible pun. I love it. Yeah, his name is is Sigmund. He's got a brother named Freud. <laughs> <laughs> you are just You're, so crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, he. I'm sorry. I love he's it. kind of a chatterbox, but like, yeah, and he has complimentary snacks Can in I the wagon. A horse that does not talk. No. What? What the hell? Talking that? horses don't run the Hoover business. I built this business from the ground up with my own four. Why would you say something so racist? Because there are other arrows that do not talk either. I've never met a not talking elf, but in this town, in this oh, country, talk. talking talk. horses run the Hoover business. Okay? Okay. And now he doesn't talk to you anymore. He's mad at you. <laughs> but he's only halfway there. <laughs> yeah. So, days travel later. Uh, somebody roll me a d20. I do it. I got it. Let's see if I'm good or lucky. I'm lucky. Busy trying to think of things for a vicious yeah. mockery. <laughs> um, okay. You come across a group of very familiar looking guards, but they don't give you the time of day. They they glance at you as they pass you on the road. Uh, and they, they squint a little. And, and you can tell they look pretty darn familiar. You may have killed a couple yesterday, but they just pass you by. Just keep walking, everyone. Yeah, Timothy is not paying them any mind. He and he's reading his book while his mate, ghost mate, is just holding the umbrella. Okay. Right, go two degrees to the left, and then. Are you backseat driving your Hoover? No, I'm backseat driving Timothy. Oh, got you. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a quill through the ghost. You're gonna throw a what? Like a quill or a pebble, something. Oh, through the ghosts. I yeah. thought you were talking about the very familiar guards you saw. Well, and I was like, yeah. don't fuck with them. <laughs> well, well, she can get hit. She has an AC. So, uh, so it does bounce off. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you see her look at you. She's terrifying. But you, you with somebody else who's terrifying, so you're numb to yeah. it, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, and then, yeah. eventually, folks, Hello? you roll up to uh, a clearing in the woods, and there's a broken down tower in the middle, and there's no snow 
surrounding this tower, it's just like dead dry grass. And and your Hoover segment <laughs> stops right outside of it. And he's like, mm -mm, this place gives me bad juju. This is where I let you off. Yeah, I saw right there, segment. Okay. He once you all unload, he backs his cart up and goes, uh, give me a five-star rating <laughs> and uh gallops off to the nearest town. Cool. I'm gonna use minor illusion contra like two and a half stars. He goes, No as <laughs> he, he gallops away. Well, yeah, Tony closes his book finally, and like this is, and he opens his map to see if this is the location. Um, it is. Oh, oh, that's good. Um, we should. Oh, this is just great. It is evening uh, though. If that, if that, it gets pretty, it gets dark pretty fast. Still, yeah. If that, uh, do whatever you want with that information. Yes. Do you want to go in the morning, or do we just want to go now? Well, Philip, this one's yours. What you want? You wish to sleep, you can. Oh, you okay. Not tired. Not tired. No. Mm. Uh, for some context for you, Philip, I guess for all of you, you all kind of feel like you have a, a little itty bitty second heartbeat in your chest, just like a flutter. And for most of you, it's pretty far away. But for you, Philip, it's been getting stronger and stronger all day, and you know that your key is somewhere here. And that little heartbeat in your chest is like, you can feel it, feel it now. It's like when you hold a baby bird or like a, a, a aunt, like a kitten or something and then you can feel its heartbeat in your hands. That is why I am not tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we're going into the wonderful. It's all right, I'm ready to go. Yeah. And the rest of you is... I mean... Granny doesn't need much sleep. She's just knitting. Yeah. How long has it been since we left town? Uh, it's been like a solid eight hours. A little bit longer. Um... It's the sun setting. But it's springtime, so it's probably like... I don't know. Six o'clock. This, this far north, we're probably going to be getting twilight for a good while. I think we're going to the damp, dark, creepy ruins. It'd be better to have some sunlight. Wait, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I can't see in the dark. Yeah, I can. Mice are deaf. Mice can definitely see in the dark. You don't. No, 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 no. Huh? It's the whiskers. We stays close to the wall. Uh. Why am I telling God this? God should know. <laughs> wait, do elves have dark vision? Elves yeah. do, yes. yes. Okay, cool. Mice don't, because we stick close to the walls. I don't. <laughs> I still don't care. Okay, I'm... so, wait, there's something that utilizes dark vision going up? Like It's just getting dark out. Yeah. Oh, I can't see. It's not have dark vision. You know, yeah. I'm... Hold on. I got to clutch that. I'm getting the sense that the, the gods want us to make camp. <laughs> And use maps. It's up to y'all. <laughs> well, I already stored her. I already stored a chance to use a map. I'm still gonna <laughs> use it. Yeah, I know. If you can, like an hour see, on these maps. I can help with that. I am. Oh, I, I have toilet. I, I have a lantern, so I can just even like that. that. Like, like that. Let's let's just but make if you oh, to okay this. okay then uh Timothy will just find a space. That's why enough for him. And he just for like ten minutes just starts walking into a big circle and then just start chanting. You make uh, camp along yeah. the side of the road. Yeah, <laughs> Timothy, Timothy makes his tower <laughs> on this map that I made. Yep, we'll need to get you a tower map here for you. We'll pretend yeah. there's a tower. <laughs> yeah, I even have a picture of the tower if you want to see it. Look at my good, good map and appreciate it, please. I, I, I would, it. and I'm I sorry. Appreciate this map. I can go edit my my other map. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, and um, uh, Timothy's tower. Who's drawing? That is a very yes. small tower. Why did you toss it into the river? Here, <laughs> this I'll, is a road. I'll make Timothy's tower. Hold on. It's a road, then, buddy. Yeah, it is. Uh, a road. Are, You're right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll put Timothy's Towers in Discord. Well, right. actually, looks yeah, like we'll just say there's a big tower there. We're using because I want you all to appreciate. I made it. um made sure Timothy's Tower had like a strong base and then like a uh, extended you can actually roof. Actually, see, oh, there it is. Yeah, dude, come yeah. on, dude, come <laughs> on. <laughs> you know, I gotta, I gotta do edit. I gotta edit this thing here, one way or the other. Here, you're seriously gonna make me do more work? Yes. yes. Yeah. So yes, if everybody, if if oh, they go, if they go be. Found out yeah, if they, to say penis. It's my draw too. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, if they gonna be camped outside, Timmy's just gonna be in his tower. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> hey, mm-hmm. hey, he let people tower. come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah he let people come in. Like, oh, this is my home. I have a permanent one in my, in on the island I live on. But that was I can't bring that to with me. So this is my temporary one. Well, so there's only one bedroom. Oh, there's one bedroom, but there's like an extra room that people can use. Like a lounge. I'm gonna, I'm a gonna couch, also though. ignore uh, the tents and conjure tiny huts. <laughs> tiny hut is just a dome. <laughs> I'll make it inside the biggest tent, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, Timothy, Timothy would just say, oh, if anybody needs a tent, uh, I have a, one big enough for two people. I don't use it. That's for my companions when I was traveling with them. I carried it. I, I can sleep oh, on, a, I, on a cushion if you have one. I'm oh, I have so couches. Bad. I have couches, armchairs. Like, if you just want to sleep inside, you just sleep inside. I also have a fireplace if you want to light that and just be warm. I'm gonna grab Mary Soul's hand and drag her into the hut. Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, you got, hey, yo! Hey, yo! I okay. Well, no, that's going to be interesting. Uh, it's pretty cold out, but I guess you're from here, so you're probably fine. Yeah, yeah I am an owl. Tiny house, yeah. if there's any if it less noise through it. No. What? Oh I'm sorry. God. What? Let's see. You said yeah. it. I was thinking so, it. All of you in this tiny hut to be there. No. Nah. Yeah, so basically, it's just going to be me. The granny and the granny probably in the mouse. <laughs> it's just like in this giant tower. Everybody else, I'm gonna step outside. All right, <laughs> can't do anything about that. Also, right. granny, there is a kitchen if you want to use it. I'll make the dome like a like a pinkish reddish color, <laughs> and it doesn't say if noise can get out or not. So that's up to you, cheese. Um, it's here. muffled. Okay. You hear and it's dry and warm. This is throughout the night. Jesus Christ. I hear nothing. I'm, I'm going to be fucking shameless <laughs> during this game. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Yeah, is this place uh, soundproof? Because I saw that other Damien fella, oh, the other girl in there. Oh, as you saw, the door is a portal, so... Unless they can sound control through the portal? No, not really. Um, well, yes, I have multiple floors. Um, my bedroom's on the third floor. Um, I have another room that's empty, and at the top, if you want to, um, look up at the night sky, you can. I, I have a lot. It's very useful. Evidently. I also have a sauna. Yes, if you need to bathe, I have a sauna. A, just bathroom. Just, it comes with everything. Hey. You guys have a little pool party in the sauna? Literally, literally, this place is literally just a walking house. Like, Timothy is literally a walking house. A walking like, mansion is what this thing is. You're goddamn. Yeah, Timothy's like, if you, um, it's gonna be here for 24 hours, so even if we go to the, go come back every, after we leave to go through the dungeon, it might still be here when we come back. So it's useful. Only I can let people in and out. Um, but yes, I have room enough for you to sit, sleep, whatever. Dining room, go, go have, have, go crazy. If you need a map of the world, also have that. I need a lot of, I need a lot of space when I work. Good, okay. Uh, do you all bunk down for the night? Is anyone doing anything fun? Yeah, I am <laughs> keeping what? watch. I'm showing oh, up for the I will bunk down in front of the fire. Uh, I will go up to the roof of my tower. I also have a telescope with this place, and I that looks outside. I will also like to look 
in the direction of where we're going tomorrow just to see if there's anything weird. Just get a little head, just get a little peek from a safe distance to my telescope. Um, so, wait, sorry, you're looking at the tower? Yeah, to my telescope. Okay. Um, yeah, you're not that far from it. Uh, it is kind of crumbling. Uh, roll me a perception check. Or investigation. I'd rather go investigation. Why? Because it's intelligence. Cool. You see at the, the bottom level, you can peek right into it from where you're at. There is a spiral staircase leading down. And there's a little bit of light coming in, coming from there. And you think that's kind of weird. The place yeah. is supposed to be abandoned. Yeah, tell you this note. Remember that, because he will not forget because of the feet I got. Say, so, all right, that's good enough to know. Um, light up. If anyone's hungry, get them food, tea, you know, the normal. I will be in my research room until it's time for me to sleep. And he just goes to his study until it's time for him to go to sleep, until he needs to rest and go to bed. Yeah. Uh, you guys do your nightly activities, mm. uh, and then go to bed. And then in the morning, uh, sun shines bright and early. And it's, it's yeah, time. Man. It's time to yeah. do the dungeon and dungeon and dragon. Yeah, it is. Uh, Eat a well, we... for going in. Don't want you get no. Uh, don't want you get no hungry and whatnot. If we end up fighting, never good to fight on an empty stomach. Yes, um, that's fine. Uh, Timothy just go make himself some. Well, I say Timothy, Lila will make the tea, and then Timothy will eat get his little breakfast. Uh, leave his pack out. Leave the heavy stuff here because, like, he doesn't need to take it with him because he has a house. <laughs> Okay, um, you guys. Just bragging oh. about that, man. Damn. Uh, geez. I am. Yes. There is something I want to work on. Okay. I left you. Okay. Um. um well, that's happening. Unless you guys have anything else. I was going to uh, approach Colin after uh, it came coming out of the tower, okay. and I will say. Uh, this will uh, potentially be a very trying day. I would like you to be careful, and I will pat your back. Be ready for anything. Oh. It just gives you advantage on your initiative rolls until I decide not to give it to you. Wow. That's... That's very nice of you. I'll keep an eye on that. Oh. Uh, so, um, as Timmy walks out, sees her, but sees people, he said, "So, before I went to sleep last night, um, I did take a quick peek to my telescope at the um tower, and at the entrance. Um, from the entrance, I saw a light from inside. I found it. I found that weird since, um, well, it's supposed to be abandoned. Oh, yeah, they would not think be. it to be." Yes, so there might be multiple things we all have to deal with. A, a giant, it seems, it might be a part of it, but that's at the very bottom. Yeah, Set. That... Where are we ready to go? Oh, I'm quite ready. Uh, yeah. he will pull out. Yeah, he will pull out his lantern and make sure it's lit. It's a bullseye lantern, so he can point it in a direction. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I got that fancy stuff. Wander off the road and through the clearing to the tower. And the, the spiral staircase leading up is broken, but leading down seems intact from where you stand. Hmm. It's also I very quiet here. The lead. I can feel it closer. He wandered down the stairs. Heard it. Drop tokens, my dear friends. Dropping token. Where? I am massive. Uh. Uh. Ah, uh, you just hide it for us. <laughs> yeah. uh. That's because 
When you originally did it, you put it on a map that didn't have a grid on it. That's why. Yeah. Why are you all so tiny? Because why you it's the grid. Okay, you I'm fixing. The grid. Technically speaking, you need to adjust me to make me smaller. <laughs> but uh, you're getting normal. You take up the same square. Uh, Marisol? Boo. Oh, jeez. Uh, jeez, I hope you remember to think I have, just in case. Yeah. Oh, look, you all fit. Yes. Cool. Marisol, as you walk past me, I say, oh, dear, you look a little bit cold. Here, I made something for you. Uh, I'm sending fine. it to you right now. Okay. Excellent. Ready? It's a scarf made out of human skin. God. I wouldn't expect an old honey badger grandma to not make something like that. It's just like made of owl skin and mouse skin. <laughs> owl feathers and mouse oh, skin. Oh, uh, she is string. She will wear it. They <laughs> got that trip. Say, uh, and she'll say, It's my favorite color. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> I like you, child. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. I'm sending it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You, if you want to put it in important pics, you can. <laughs> oh, adorable. I love that. <laughs> hey, now. Okay. Do you journey forth intrepid adventurers? Darkness seems to be a hard stop right here. She is well, miscellaneous picks to you. Oh, good. No, 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 the same. Um, yeah, if you wander, you have night vision or dark. Yeah. I have I my lantern. Very far. I, can I have see my further than his lantern can uh, show. I can see if the two are uh, slowly reveal things. Feet. Oh, great. I'm up I can see um, about 300. Is that a fucking pit? <laughs> that, is, <laughs> away. that is exactly what that is. <laughs> um, I can't nice. see if this is like pitch black. I don't have dark vision. If you're behind me, if you're behind me, you will see light coming from me as I have the lantern. I wish I could do the shadowy thing for you guys. But that yeah, dynamic money. lighting! That, that would money. be nice, but don't worry about it. I don't it's, have... It's free right now for about two weeks. Oh, damn. Well, whoopsie. Yeah. Um, but who of you who cannot hear, uh, hear, see? Who cannot see? Like, I, as I in, like, even with the light, who cannot see? That would be me. That's one. I mean, I don't have dark vision, so yeah. I, yeah. That's too bad. Uh, do I? <laughs> you? I'll, I'll grab the one end of the scarf that Marisol's wearing. <laughs> Use it to kind of badger. Tie each other together. Can the, Dude, can, can I the just badger like... see a knight? What do I don't know. I, I, I was going to say, can I just do like grabby hands? You just pick me up. <laughs> Uppies. Sure. And I'll say, well, thought you got enough of this last night. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I smote it. Molly, I wanted can... to know. That's why I'm out here. Yeah. Molly, do you have dark vision? Uh, I'm human, so I don't. But uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna use lantern. Molly, I can see her. Eh, okay. it doesn't matter. I can give four people uh, dark vision, just for an hour. <laughs> Mary Soul is gonna straight up pretend she doesn't have it still. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna do. You, you do indeed see a big spike pit, and there's, like, skeletons and blood in there. Uh, and it's it's fairly large, but not large enough that you couldn't say, roll a dex check to get over it. Not large enough that I couldn't say, fly over it, as I am you now. You could also do that. Oh, we don't have to roll, god. <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah. wish, magic uh, bullshit. I don't have magic bullshit for that. <laughs> <laughs> Do give, I, me a, give me a rope and I will tie it to the other side and I will hold on to it just in case if you fall I can at least try to prevent you from an untimely demise. 
Let me check my entertainer's pack, see if I have a rope. I think you all have rope. Um, I do I not. Cool. Wow. Oh, I, I have, have string. I have, I have <laughs> five candles. Wow. <laughs> Our first obstacle, jumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I have rope. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I always <was a> spell. <laughs> well, I, yeah, you're making a cross. Man. I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. <laughs> uh, is the mouse on me, by the way? Uh, no, he didn't get back on you after uh, after we came out of the tower. Oh, uh, when I'm over by myself. I will, I will say there is a ledge, and if you'd like to scurry across. I'll give you advantage on your deck. Technically check. speaking, I don't think Misty Step allows you to take a companion with you here. That would have been Dimension Door. My, uh, yeah. I can well, fly at least me and right. the, the mouse I'll and the back. You can over. definitely carry the mouse. <laughs> it doesn't take that much for toss. you to carry me. I'm going to toss part of the rope to um, the owl. And I'm very I am also probably the strongest one on the other side of Granny, the Granny, do you need a lift? That'd be lovely, dear. Oh, okay. I'm fully convinced Granny could have made it across on her own, but she just likes Probably. strapping young men to help her do things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, does, she does that on purpose, you know. There's a surplus of strapping young men in this party. Bash her on my shoulder, Marisol on my arms, I'm gonna try to make a leap. I have the rope tied to me. Okay. And I will have the rope on me, and I will be... Uh, okay. Acrobatics. Philip, if you want to do... Yeah, you do acrobatics. If you want to do a help check, you can. Also, yeah. a potential house rule on advantage that I've been toying. If you... For like help checks in particular um instead of one of you just rolling with advantage if you both want to roll and then take the higher that is an option i will give you if that suits the party. oh that's nice that would what's be your nice. decks looking like uh i would be pulling so i would use my my athletics my strength no oh, well i'm just gonna roll acrobatics with advantage <laughs> which is also an option i'll let have if you just want to do regular Help checks, where it's just like one of you rolls advantage, or if you both want to roll, take higher. Solution. I pull with the power of six uh, modifiers. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just roll normal. We'll both roll. <laughs> that work for you? Sure. All right. Yuck. Fourteen. Thirteen. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, I'm fucking springy. Fourteen <laughs> makes it Gosh, even with two people on you. The help lowered your DC too. So, you make it across, you teeter on the edge, but Philip gives you a yank, and you make it. You solved my spike trap puzzle. Yay! Wait, that was a, that was a fucking puzzle? Super All I needed right. was magic. <laughs> Wait, why, why, am I, why am I talking to God? I'm not the cleric. You're gonna run out of spells real quick, do it. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry, I can get it back. I have my ways. <laughs> it's like, for me, I, I, I don't really care. <laughs> right. What do we have ahead of us now? Big dark and... hallway. Is that the way we need to go? Where am I feeling the pull of my uh, my heart? My heartbeat, beat, 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 beat. Um, it's, it's a little bit murky now that you're in here and you can't, you don't really know why. Um... It's just kind of like, you feel like it's all around you. My compass is not pointing in a direct option. It is more spinning. Mm -hmm. You just have to look. Well, that's fine. Any uh, footprints on the ground? Um, no. Uh, there is like, bodies and shit though. <laughs> Skeletons and whatnot. Are there no. any goose bodies? Skeletons? Are they what? Any goose, goose skulls? <laughs> <laughs> no geese skulls. Oh, okay. No, Granny, ain't no, ain't no geese <laughs> right here. Oh, good. They're very safe for you. Keep revealing bit. shit as you move. Do I hear anything other than us? Um, you hear. Non-talking rats, skittering. 
Um, and a weird, like, slurping sound. Okay, um, From where? Turn around and Damien has, like, a slushy. <laughs> <laughs> Similar slurping noise, but not quite. More like yeah. a... Like a gulping, slurping noise. Yeah. Um, as we're walking, um, Timmy, do say Timmy, do remember something? He's like, oh, I forgot to say this. Um, if there are undead in here, uh, if you stay close to me, they won't bother you. Oh, oh let me get over here. Yeah. So if you're ten feet of me, most undead would not attack you. Hmm. Well, fuck that shit. I don't know why this happens. It just happened during my studies. It's quite um, useful. Um, Timothy, roll me a, a, a history check. I to remember why this happened. <laughs> uh, it's for something else. Just roll. Oh, boy. That's fine. History. Okay, I rolled that's three. Uh, now that you're telling people about this thing that you can do where they ignore you, you have a sneaking suspicion that that's why those, those, the Joseph guards ignored you on the road early. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they were in bed! Well, I tell you, like, oh, that's um, why the guards didn't ha- attack us. Those guards were undead. Wait, what? Yes, because if everyone was around me, they didn't attack us. Oh, that's just creepy as fuck. Uh, uh, you do see there's a door. The guards looked really familiar. It looks like um, the, the Josephs you'd seen earlier. The ones that you do died. see doors oh. here. Um, I think now that you guys have all seen your first group of Josephs and the ones you passed on the road, you all get the vibe that they all kind of look very, very similar to each other. They could all be related. That... Related. That's a very big fan. It's like a... There's a, too many of them almost for them to be, but it's kind of freaky. Yes, those uh, those guards were undead. So that's why they did. Lucky breaks. So which way are we going? Jeez, how do you pronounce the name of the planet? Dapra. Dapra. Just how it's spelled. Uh, you see a door here. A sneaking door there, and you can kind of see the edge of a door here. Hey, let me go to this door. This one? This door. Do you open it? Oh, well, looks like he's look for to traps away. first. Oh, I can help you with that. Wish you friend. just see another spike pit. Interesting. <sighs> I stick with you, Granny, here. Are you going? Where's everybody going? <laughs> What's the plan here? Uh, that, th- everybody's going their own ways. Here. You're all going a different direction. <laughs> Here's the thing. When Timothy, this is something Timothy likes doing. He's now distracted about exploring. Oh, got you. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna be. I'm being this door. Uh, you're going in there. Oh, this one. Well, I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Open it. I'll look at uh, Marisol and I'm like. Uh, <laughs> Which way you want to go? Yeah, split the party. This is the best. Don't you know? It's I fun to split the party. I want to go. She's like, she doesn't. When he brings up the Joseph, she's like unsettled. So, um, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> what was in here again? Up here, uh, you just you, there's a weird goopy thing over there. You're not really sure what that is. And okay, so um, three Timothy, windows. you have some weird up here too. Oh, the goop. Yeah. Um, Timothy will step back for a moment and uh, poke it with his staff in a safe area. Okay. Uh, it's just like jello. It's weird. Cameron. Yes. Oh, Damien. Sorry, we are going all the way down there. Okay, well, we're just gonna follow the group. <laughs> uh, furry squad over here. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> sees, a, sees a spike trap and a door. <laughs> also, this open door down here. Alright. I'll cover ya. I, I peek inside. 
you peek inside, uh, you see there's a little bit of light coming in from in here, actually. Is there geese? <laughs> you don't hear any geese. Oh, there's Is no there geese over here, Granny. Granny. It doesn't rule it out. They could still be in there. They're just being very quiet. The geese are sneaky bastards. I know, right? They came it's up with that one time quiet. when we were on the ship, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Philip, there's just an empty room up here. Like, shattered pottery shards and that shattered mosaic on the floor. I don't feel key energy from it, do I? No. Where should we go here? What is in this direction? Yeah, fuck, forgot about that. Forgot you can see down the hallway. Light. And blood. And blood. Hey guys, I think... It looks like Philip sees something. I can't see a thing. I have given you dark vision. You can see. Oh. Well, then I should have marked it here. Sorry about that. Yeah, oh, you're good. Yeah, Tony will, after he take notes of what he sees in his room, he will step out and say, Oh, it seems like they found something. <laughs> Let's go, Lila. More doors. What is down here? Other than nothing. Uh, what it's indication did you have that we found something? I yeah, uh, someone say something. Blood. Oh, well, fuck Didn't that. say that. Hello. There's candles lit in this room you're looking in. I would like to go in this room. I would okay. Like this room. Oh. So, do you oh, want that? Yes. Mm, make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Will you walk in the room then? We'll see. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> yeah. Can't be bothered. I don't want to go in the room. Hey, I'll do what, is then? what is on this team? Want to ride. Um, Philip, roll me an investigation check with... Yeah, just an investigation check. I am not good at this. Uh, I wish you would have called me. I, I can look at it. <laughs> oh, rough. It look like? Um, it, it's all in code. <gasps> God. 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 But I there's use... some stuff that's not, and it looks, and there's some maps, and it kind of looks like uh, troop movements, and Wait some of the stuff a second. is, uh, the... you, with your four, you also find that there is an X on each uh, My uh, My main observation would be, is there dust or no dust? Not that much dust in here. Not as much as the rest of of this dungeon. I have found less dust room. <laughs> Wait, what? Have you said something? <laughs> you found less dust? Clever. Oh, what did you find? I found paper with not that much dust on it. That means, potentially, it is new. Oh, do you want me to look? You are free to do what you want. You two coming? Oh. I would like to go. Come on in Can here. we go in? Uh, you also see a weapons rack, a chest full of goods, <laughs> mostly... Uh, yeah, we'll go inside. Some old coins, Timothy, and then there's a an old book at the back. Um, I would... Can I do an investigation? You can uh, yeah, do an investigation I... check. I was going to do it on the map and stuff. Yeah, you can look at the maps on the table. Why am I rolling Why? like that? Why? I roll. Oh, I have a plus seven. I'm glad I'm not rolling for anything at the moment. <laughs> I have a Everyone's plus seven. Been rolling garbage. Okay. Uh, um, I guess I'll look around as well. Pretty roll well. Please. Yay! There we go. Okay, I'm going down the list. Uh, Marisol, you. Again, look. If you take a look at the maps, it's in code. The I know how to speak code. Sure. It's a little familiar, but you've never no. particularly worked yes. in this code before. Just think, um, I also has to be code. Fucking, I hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, uh, oh shit! Chills, 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 guys. 
Oh, well, if you want to roll an investigation on the yeah. Code. You want to, because I'm doing these rolls now as like a, except for Timothy, the general of the room. So if you want to roll to investigate specifically the code on the maps and stuff, I you can. Do. Um, Timothy, you notice what? on these maps, <laughs> and Damien, if you're looking, um, Damien, actually, roll me a, a history check too on these maps. But, um, surface level, you notice, again, troop movements, X is marked on each continent. Can you play the music again, <laughs> by the way? What? Can you play the music? Oh, is it not looping? It... No. Oh, it just faded out. Give it, it'll come back. No, as in, like, can you just replay? Because it's not, it's not playing at all for me. Well, it was playing for me. Yeah. I started it over. Yes. It may, it I also turned it down low, so you might have turned it back up. But, no, um, it, 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 just because how Roll Tony works, it sucks. So you have to replay oh, it when people bummer. are not, and when it's initially played. Eh. Bummer. Another fix for that here is if everybody else is hearing it, you may want to refresh your own browser. It doesn't work like that. Oh. Um, regardless, you, on these maps and, and stuff, uh, troop movements, things like that, the X is marked on each continent. Damien, you would know that the X marked on your home continent is the specific location you were kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Wherever that may be for you. Uh, um, Marisol, this code is really, really familiar, you just not quite crack it yet. Is this ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> do, do I? Can I decipher the code with my 20? I don't think you can decipher it, but you've definitely seen it before. Uh, but roll me that history check, please. Okay. I have um, linguists. <laughs> Granny, there are definitely no geese here, history. that's for sure. And yeah. there's never been geese here. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, Damien, you... The handwriting... It looks like there's some correspondence here. Some of the handwriting looks incredibly familiar to you. I will text you. Who it reminds you of. Um, but yeah, there's loot. There's. I feel like a lot of this is mostly interesting for uh, Timothy. Timothy. Yeah, no, um, Timothy is going to be in this room just gathering like, things that look historic, have historic values, like the maps and stuff. He's going to gently roll them up um, and put pull out like his map holder and just slide them in there <laughs> uh papers included um and then he's gonna go collect things putting things that have historical value into his bag that he brought for this this is the main reason he came down here not for a key that was just a something else someone else is doing <laughs> yeah also timothy in this in this i be on the here yeah. lots of old coins i would take some of them i would take a a, a small Satchel full of them. Uh, old weapons and that book on the stand in the corner looks very interesting too. Do I? Do I get anything special with my twenty? Um, the I texted it to you. Oh, that's what it's in. In the twenty plus year history check is that information. Um, and the the troop movements and things, and the the X's specifically where you were you were kidnapped from. Can I? While Timothy's distracted, take the book. In the Mother. corner? Yeah. Fucker. Uh, I roll me stealth. Stealth? Should, shouldn't it be sleight of hand? I guess Phil or someone, yeah. someone is also looking at the book as and well. And Philip is looking, looking at, at the, the book, book, but it's up to Philip whether. He definitely sees you regardless of the role, but it's up to you. I'm, I'm doing that. Book. Does he see me? Oh, damn. <laughs> Nobody else in the room yeah. sees you take this book. I think regardless. I, um, I, Philip is like, did he take that book? But you're not sure. I wanted. I was reading the book. Yeah. I didn't even get to say I want to read the book before you got to that point. It's he looked gone. at the map and then came over here. Yep. Can if I look at time, the book before he to... approaches? Yeah. Yes, it's uh, an old tome of ghost stories. Uh, Why? Oh, Why are you? For me. <laughs> Why? You fuck? Why? I'm so. That's Why your hands. I Why hate. I fucking. This is. <laughs> I'm glad Timothy doesn't see you as a bad person. <laughs> um, but yeah, Philip, you did get to go through it, but then hey, just all of a sudden it's gone, and you're like, what the hell is happening? 
Uh, if it's if it's like if I see it's a ghost book, then I just kind of ignore it. I don't care about it. Okay. Yeah, Timothy it's would close. click everything of historic value and Jeez, see that the book you, is missing. Do you ever read um, creepy stories of the Devil in the Dark? Yeah, I fucking hate those. It's definitely like a fantasy version of that, though. Okay. <laughs> but it's like folklore ghost stories, not just like made up one. Well, you know what I mean. What's in um, the chest? Chest, old coins, old artifacts. Yeah. Timothy has a like probably a hundred coins in a small patch satchel. Um, so. Colin, when you sniff the air, you smell something that kind of smells like Jello. Maybe Can I try to decode this again? <laughs> um, <laughs> so depressed. I think it's been packed up, but you, you can ask Timmy. <laughs> and you can spend some time with it if you'd like. But that's up to Timothy. Something definitely smells weird in here. Like Jello, specifically. <laughs> I don't know what Jello is. That's a brand name that doesn't exist here. Did Timothy <laughs> pack up the map? Jello. Yeah, you can take I, anything you want from this room. Did I'm I do what? Asking, I'm asking if you packed up the map. <gasps> yes, I did. Before you do that, can I, like, stop you and be like, where are you from? Why do you want to know? Because I am from here, and he points to the X on the map. That is him. Now, what the you fuck? Can the what? map if you want. Yeah, too. Like, uh, where's the, where is the <laughs> island from? Can you pull up the map? Yeah, because I need to know what the island is called. <laughs> um, fuck, do, 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 where do. am I from? Really? Yeah, where are you from? Yeah, from over here. I'm from Really? Jeez, I can't, I can't. I'm so lost, jeez. I don't, I forgot. <laughs> You're from... Uh, I'm from down there. south. Please. You're from down Yeah. Specifically. Do you yeah, uh, that up? Uh, yes. Is it? In the general area where the X is. Yeah, the X is, is over there. Hmm. The big pyramid, if you will. There's also an X here. Uh. Here. 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 <coughs> oh, and again there. Hmm. Looks like this is the location where they picked us up at. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's cold. cold? Uh, yeah, I said that's quite useful. <laughs> oh, uh, when it's cold, um, I can decipher it when I have time. It's not my first time deciphering a code. I can also make codes. I will but glance it's... at a very, like, oh, what's the word? Pouting. Pouting, consternation. Uh, Mary Soul. Like, maybe you could let her help out. <laughs> oh, I would love to. Um, but we don't have time for that. It, it seems, don't we looking for something? Sure. Oh, okay. Yes, um, but yeah, Timothy's already done packing up the stuff. Alright, well. Mary Soul, uh, yeah, you I'm want not... another ride, or are you gonna walk? What? You want another ride, or are you gonna walk? That's a good question. Uh, cheese in the weapons, is there a dagger of any sort? Because I'm not carrying a big ass weapon. <laughs> yeah, there's like cool fancy daggers. Yeah, I, I'm not even going to use it. It's just for historic value. <laughs> of course. Good sir. Into the light at the end of the tunnel. Are you going out? So the rooms do not look like they have much yeah, significance. Yeah, I'm walking out maybe with Mary Soul in my arms? I don't know. She's not saying it. Uh, I'll walk, but I'll hold your hand. Oh, okay. You. You have gross relationships. Eh. So we're for, for, for sure, for sure, heading out of this dungeon? Never understand. Yeah. Uh, a lot of this room. Yeah. Well. Definitely want to check out this room and this room. Uh, okay. I wanted to go up here, but like, <laughs> I don't know if the group is going to say anything. I'm, I'm very cautious. Where, uh, where is that jello smell coming from? Uh, oh. It's coming from this room. I, um. would avoid, I would avoid that one if I were you. Oh, I'm not talking about the room. I'm talking about the room we passed up top. Right, we didn't do a lot of exploring, and it saddens me. But I can well, probably do it on my own time. 
the moment, Granny hears that she'll poke her head around into this room. Oh, no, no it's, not course, it's not Gish! It's not Gish! Oh, fuck. Uh, there's lots of broken pottery shards. And, like, there's goop on the walls? It's green, it's gross. So we all find a slide. Excuse me. <laughs> Did fucking Link come through here? <laughs> it's alright, Colin. There's just slime on the walls. No geese. Uh, exactly. I was trying to tell you there's no <laughs> geese in there. Just probably something that's not to get in your fur sort of thing. That's him and he's like, once we cut this place out or get the key, and if it's still around, I might come back later on to actually explore this place. It seems like it has a lot of historic value. Uh, and a lot of pits. Since we're not at all trying to be stealthy, um, Damien's just going to start humming a, humming a song he's been working on. Yeah, it isn't finished yet. It isn't finished yet. <laughs> All right, but um, are we going along now? If we are, let's get moving. I would love to see more of this place. Yeah, just doing that to try to cheer up Marisol. All right, Philip, lead yeah. the way. I'll cover you. <coughs> There's Excuse nothing me. else in that room. All right. Uh, well, over here, there ain't nothing in this one here. Onward and upward and downward, okay. I guess also. Itty bitty pause. I gotta show you guys the whole map because I made it and it's good. I wanted to see a cheese, but they were rushing ahead. <laughs> did you make it, make it, or did you find I it? I made it, made it. She made it, made it. Ugh. I made it, made Look at this good map I made. Oh, you yeah. almost found a torture room. Yeah, yeah I, I was looking for stuff too. I was like, ooh, that's gonna be great. There's a torture room that I he made for you guys. Here too. And here's the thing, that looks, hey, do you know what, that looks like a, it's like a hatch that goes down. Yeah. I wanted to go there so bad, like, and just go in. <laughs> I used you, to you, make you, maps and then I got really lazy. I enjoy making maps and I have time for it now because I have classes or anything. Yeah. So you get Don't maps sometimes. You. Yeah, jeez, I was, I, I, want, I was going to explore this whole place. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I, I was, Trying to follow the ones that I thought were going to get in trouble first here. You wander out of this dungeon into the light through a tunnel. It gets increasingly cold as you go and it slants upward. And you come out of a ice cave to find a very familiar looking elven man standing on an ice lake. You'd like to drop your tokens up here, up top, please? And then, my good friends, we will roll for initiative. This is oh. a pretty nice lake. Thanks. I'm gonna be way here in the back. Oh, look, a tiny Marisol. Why can't I adjust the size? What the fuck? Oh, oh did you DM kid? Size her token, so you're not DM. Oh, only fuck. DM can, sorry, yeah. folks. Can I put a grab or grid on this one? Let me... Remember, Colin, you have advantage on your first initiative roll. Let me throw the grid on. Throws, I remember. Remember uh, that cheese? Ah, why am I so huge? Initiative. I don't know. Uh, cheese. What did you say? My, my ghost goes right after me, just automatically. Okay, let me fit you to the. I don't know why you're so big. It's because when you first initially made our tokens, you didn't put it on a grid. You put it on a map without a grid. Oh, bummer. Also, you're not. If you didn't save our tokens to our sheet, then it means it's going to be you guys did that. every time. No, no, you have to. You can't save oh, our shit. tokens to our sheets. I think me... Damien is super tall anyway. I'm having, re, I'm having to re input all my stuff here to the token each time we're going to a different layer. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you, you you have to if you want us to have a consistent Remember token I, I and everything showed you like how that. to link it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll fix it after this. Mm. Okay. There is um, a method to doing so. Yes. Regardless, you see our big friend, the ghost as he's so lovingly called, standing on this ice lake and that one and he spreads his arms out at you and says, Well, looks like my little gatekeepers found me after all. Who's ready for a fight? Who are you? 
and then he gets in a fighting position, and he's- The depression, like the wave of utter depression that I was in, is now gone. Oh, I, sorry, I need to, re I I need to roll it for initiative so here. I am so setting it up right excited. Now. I'm, like, shaking in my boots with, like, uh, anticipation. has been switched. <laughs> you should help a little bit. And that is with initiative here. Or with uh, advantage. Oh. I, I take it. We're good. Did you? Uh, yeah. Sick tunes! It's Hold on! Oh, you did. It doesn't, okay, show, doesn't cool. show it here. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a... There's a there's a uh, initiative style Macro. that you can roll that you can roll with us with advantage. Just trust me, it, it would have been worse. It would have been worse, far worse. <laughs> hey, dear friend Philip, you first. Uh, who are you? Why are we? Why? 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 Why must we fight? But you know because... who he is. I drew him. Well, yes, yeah, but is... I don't know what his purpose is. Uh, I would like it, it's. I would like him to explain himself. It's because you fools are going to keep saving the world. We've been alive too long. It's time to be done. And uh, continues his fighting stance because you, you go first. Uh, you if you wish to be dead, we can do that as well right now if you want. Not just me, all of us. I don't think you can speak for the majority of people. I don't think you can either, Owl. No, I'm pretty sure most people want to live. I... Uh, I tried to hit him in the face with the guiding bolt. Does a 12 not hit him? Uh, <laughs> he matrix dodges it. Okay. Also, he's holding okay. a, a great axe. I'm holding a hammer. Uh, I mean, that's my action. Okay, uh, yeah, he dodges it. And he has his great axe one more time. I, I, st I take one more step forward. I have 30 feet. Ah, good. Damien. Um, let me see. I'll look at him and say, your life is like your looks. Terrible and meaningless. <laughs> Vicious mockery. Vicious mockery! Oh, he fails. Yes. <laughs> Take four boys of psychic damage. He just kind of squints at you and he looks a little offended. Yeah. Um, bonus action. Um, I'll look at... Let's see, who's... Uh... I'll look at, um... Oh, fuck his name. Timothy? Yeah. Uh, you... You might be a ghost, but you are spooky good at this. <laughs> Timmy <laughs> looks bewildered. Timmy looks bewildered. I will just I'm just be weird. <laughs> and it's like, but I'm alive. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> we don't know what the fuck you are. Uh, you take a D6 and switch. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. That was funny. Yeah. That was cool. Been working on these for a while. <laughs> Is that your turn? Yep. Dear Colin. Okay. Yep. It's time to get in range. Uh, I'm gonna move away from the grouping here. And let's see. I believe I should be in range here. Yeah, big battle. No copyright. Plenty of range there. Plenty of range there. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and raise up Splinter and. Uh, mm. How's that hit? <laughs> it is. Uh, I get another attack here, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him again. What does oh, Splinter we're, do? We're Splinter five, is right? a yeah. It does piercing damage. Okay. Uh, that's a D8 inspiration. Sorry. Oh, that's better. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you shoot him and these hit. 
and you just fill him with little tiny toothpick arrows in his oh. thigh, and he he stumbles a little I... bit, and he glares at you. Isn't it a bonus action? Uh, for what? Hunter's Mark? I don't- I'm not using Hunter's Mark and I don't have that. Oh, I thought you were doing Hunter's Mark! No, I don't have Hunter's Mark. Oh, never mind! I'm not a ranger! ranger. <laughs> I thought I think you were a ranger! I'm not a ranger! Oh, it's my other game that I run the ranger. Yeah, no, I have a- I, I have abilities, <laughs> though, that I can use, I just- Okay, to we'll get them next time. Uh, yeah. so Is that your turn? Yep, that's it. Timothy! Uh, Timothy just looks after his bewilderment in the sense. Uh, yes, we are doing something. He would tap the ground with his K and you see a look of black spark. And I will hex this man as he's now has black veins. Uh, your sparks like shoot across the ice. And let me roll. What save is it? Oh, it's not a safe, it just happens. Oh, damn. Oh, I was looking at that down uh, there. My bad. Uh, yeah. cool. Uh, and then, as an action, I will tap my staff again, and from the top, where a little purple gem is embedded into it, I will uh, bolt the fire will shoot out. Uh, that hits. Uh, so, I thought that a hex damage, so that's an 86. Yeah, so your, your little black lightning shoots across the face. Circles up his leg and turns his, his veins black. And then you shoot your fire at him and it it pings off his chest and his dirt catches on fire. He, he's putting it out, but it hurt pretty bad. Yeah, and then right after I do that, you just see the, the specter. That's what that, it, cause it normally looks like emotionless and all that. Now it goes into full, I am a fucking ghost, I'm coming to kill you <laughs> mode. Mouth wide open, oh, just goes down and everything. Cool. Yeah, just a creepy scream, and she will attack. Damn, that hits. <laughs> yeah, uh, he has to make a con save, or his max HP will go, be re his, his overall max HP will be reduced by 13. What's the save? DC, oh, it's uh, 15. Um, yep. you pass it. Oh, uh, he still he keeps his life for now. For yeah. now. Yeah, and that's the end of my turns. Spooky boys incorporated. Granny Mildred <laughs> First she will clutch the duck feather around her neck and uh, get plumage. You see plumage grow out of her chest and it's this bright colored surf that ups her AC and movement. She then she'll move to her here, because she can. Then she'll extend her middle finger and on it is tattooed a tree and the tree glows and she casts Spain on the guy. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, a little tree glows on his forehead before it vanishes and he blinks at you. Uh, charisma save? Yeah. What's the DC? 13. He passes. Oh, damn. You rolled a 13. Ah, oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, your tree flickers out instead of fading like it would if it had passed. She looks at a finger and goes, Well, shit. <laughs> Is that your turn? Know, yeah, right? that's it. Marisol. Cool. Uh... Alright, I will come over here. I'm going to use some blood curses. Let me see what I can do. Draw shape. Here comes the creepy pop. Uh, can someone do 15 feet from right here for me? Right here? Yeah. Well, not from me, from the purple one, yeah. Oh, uh, this is gonna be so hard. It's like everybody around him. There. Um. Alright, so I'm gonna do two. 
Actually, I'll do one for now. And I'm going to use Blood Curse of Pain. Yum. Mmm. Mmm, cool. Okay. And I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Pew! Magic Missile 3. Magic one. Oh, my bad. It is 3. Yeah, yes. they had it each time. Yeah. The way they backward it. Because you can target multiple creatures with it. Yeah, he goes ba 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 in the chest and he takes it. And. A stumbly step, step back. back. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one, but... Should be the same, but yeah. Damn. He, he looks... <laughs> you guys have just been, like, kicking his teeth in. <laughs> but he looks like he's getting angrier and angry every second. Uh, he's just kind of scorched and burned, but he's still standing. Okay, it's his turn. He... Stumbles his step or two forward, and he's going to swing out at you, Philip. Does the twenty-one hit? Uh, roll with disadvantage. Sure, trees. I'll allow it. For attacks? All right, that's right. He has a vicious mockery. Because he failed, vicious oh. mockery gets disadvantage on his second attack. It's on the first one. It's the twenty-one again. <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay, uh, take four slashing damage. He swings and and you move a little, little bit, and he just slices across your chest and your poor little owl body. You lost some feathers. <laughs> um, and then he's going to swing at you. Does a nine hit? <laughs> Was he swinging at? But no, Marisol. I don't think he would hit anyone. Does a nine hit me? Yeah. No, pathetic. Okay. Uh, he swings over your, your head. <laughs> and uh, he would also end up swinging, slicing through the ghost. But because she's incorporeal, it just kind of goes right through her. Yeah. Can I... It can still hit her. It can still hit her. Well, I'm going to say it goes right. She's like, ah, it goes right through her. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, as he tries to, like, slice and dice me, do I, do I just, it, I'm really short, so can we just say that he just missed? He just overshot, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave and say that. He hits Philip, who's really short, and then he overcompensates, goes higher on you. That's just hilarious. Where's this guy? Um, and then he is going to reach into the ice and break off a big chunk of it, and he's going to throw it at you, Timothy. What? Me? I did nothing. I what? don't think it eight hits. No, I just... It just makes us... Timothy can't dodge. <laughs> like, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> he he plunges his hand into the ice and yanks up a big chunk of it, and he hurls it over Marisol and Philip's heads, and it, it flies right over your head and bounces and rolls away. But uh, cracks are starting to spread through the ice where he ripped his hand through. And then oh. Uh, I will walk forward. And I will swing. Ooh, that hits. Uh, so I just kneecap him. Um, oh, and then uh, from behind, uh, he'll get another swing at him uh, from my spiritual weapon that I'm about to summon behind him, and it will swing. Uh, yeah, slices him across the back. Uh, you you kneecap him, and he falls to one knee, and then you slice him across your spiritual weapon, and he one of his hands slips off the the haft of his great axe, and he glares up at you. Is that your he turn? my spiritual weapon. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, the, the little green thing right here, that's my spiritual weapon. Ah, cool. Uh, it'll be a, just a, uh, a feather. That's very oh, great. Sharp. Very, very sharp and big. Cool. 
And yeah, that's it. Excellent. Damien. Um, hmm. Move up about, about right there. What do I got here? Oh, he know. appears to be an elf, correct? Appears to be what? An elf? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Uh, can I get a clear line of sight over these group people? Yeah, they're short. Okay. I think he's really tall. Oh, he's on the average up. I'll just shoot him. Uh, 16 hit? Uh, just barely. Oh, wait, that should be doing more damage. Okay, hold on, let me. My damage thing was screwed up. Uh, there we go, that's better. Okay, uh, you, can just add, yeah. you can just add 4 to the first one, so 8 damage. Okay, so he. You shoot between your companion. And it lodges in his shoulder, and and the hand that he had just put back on the haft with great axe slips off again, and it it the axe sinks deeper into the ice, and more cracks are starting to spread. Okay, let me see what I got in the old inspiration book. <laughs> Get off the uh, ice! Oh, fuck. I'll look at um. Uh, well, if the ice is cracking, look at Mary Saul and say, <laughs> play your cards right and I'll have a surprise in the bedroom. Oh my god. Good grief. Good, right, I'm canceling a, the game. Everybody go home. Take a D8 inspiration. The world ends. You all die. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks fall, dragons crap, and we're all dead. Mm. I can end the world with a sex joke, I'd be happy. Dude, I appreciate what? it, though. That's Is that your turn? Okay. Dear Colin. This is yours. This is yours. I need to move myself right here. And this will be an arcane shot. Ooh. Okay. Right That's what you me. are. Yeah. Oh, this Ooh. 12 hit. No. Let's try again. He, the first time... Fucking 13. Neither of those hit. So the first time he gets shot by Damien, he, he drops down, and then immediately after, you just miss him because he fell to the ground again. Okay. Sad part is I had a great inspiration for you, but you decided to try to stab me. <laughs> well, you decided to pick <laughs> me up, even though he expressively said, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Is that your turn, Colin? That is all I can do, unfortunately. Okay. Timothy! Yeah, Timothy's in the back, just smiling. Just because Timothy's like, oh, this, is, this is okay. We feel like we have this under control. Timothy's also in the back, as mine. We're going to wake the giant up. <laughs> it's like, it's like he's, he's holding back. I'm uh, going to shoot my fireball. Phew. The 14 hit. Ah, uh, no, you just oh, I got inspiration. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. yeah, I got that, though. It was 18. Okay, now you hit Uh, uh so you yeah. hit it. zigzags between your friends, and it launches him in that same spot on the chest again. Yeah, and so 8 plus really, 5. Yeah, really, really burns the skin now. And, um, he, he places a hand on the ice and, and pats himself out again. And then he screams. Uh, yeah. he looks pretty rough, but like he just gets mad, and then you ghost. Uh, she misses. Ha! Ah, misses. She does a lot uh, of damage though. <laughs> she just screeches at him, but he's so mad it doesn't do anything. Uh, Granny. Yeah, I will scurry up behind him, right there, and cast Chill Touch. That's Ooh. Twenty hits. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> I have necrotic damage, there we go. Yeah, he... You get him right in the wound he had on his back from the spectral weapon, the spiritual weapon, and it just... The 
wound is instantly infected and starts to rot. <laughs> and, and he is on his hands and knees fuming. Is that your turn? That's it. Okay, Marisol. Oh, whoops. Uh, well, I do want to put another curse down. Um, so many pink rectangles. <laughs> Um, we'll just say that there's two, because I don't want to put, like, a secondary one down if it's the same. Yeah. This one is going to be... Actually, uh, the hemorrhaging one. Make a con save with disadvantage, please. Oh boy! While, while you do that, I'm going to come right here. Does this count as flanking? Um... With the ghost. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, he absolutely failed. That's oh, cool. Save. He's bleeding now. Yum yum. That's Oh, he's just covered damage. in blood and ash. Um, so I'm now going to use my scythe. Please. Lit lit. Oh. And I have extra attack, so there's that. Jesus oh. Christ, you cut into this guy. Uh, and I add pain twice, because I hit him twice. Boom, boom. Jesus, you kicked this guy's ass for a minute. Um, I'm, I'm you... just gonna go crazy, like I'm actually like, psychotic. Yeah, you are <laughs> like, slicing and yeah. dicing. And he's <laughs> screaming at you now. Um, uh, and for my last attack, he's got his hand on the ice, right? Yeah. Can I ram my scythe like through his hand into the ice? Oh yeah, you can. It, cool, cool. it busts through the ice and shards of ice. Paul. Yeah. Too. Uh, and I'm gonna like kneel down because he's he's on the floor, so I can I want to get like eye level with him, and I'll say, "You remember when you teleported away from me, and you said, oh, it's you. Oh, it's me.'" <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the ice starts cracking, and the hand that had plunged into the ice again that you stab, he clenches his fist and grabs another handful of ice, and then he starts to to grow. And he gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and he's covered in frost. And he stands up, and the the ground shakes. So I need everyone, I guess, within the pig circle, to roll me a deck save. Oh, I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thing I'm uh, there. Good question. Uh, my ghost hovers because she's not touching the ground, so that yeah. she has to make one. She's fine. Um. Okay. I love how I have a plus six to this, and it's like, yes. You went up inspiration. Yeah, I know, I'm deciding whether or not I should use it. I would. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine, I'll use it. You said it's a D8. Yep. Don't roll well. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, uh, Philip, you <laughs> um, get shot back. The ice shoots you back farther away, so you get to do ten feet away from him, and, um... Oh, um... Hmm? Okay. Um, and little ice spikes shoot past you and raises you on your shoulder. And I'm gonna take three damage. <laughs> and, uh, Granny and Marisol, you hold on during the shaking, and, uh, you dodge all your ice spikes. Just barely. And um, you're all a little frozen now. You're a little crispy. But the frozen Does version of that. And he's he's much taller now. His Does size went from medium taller? to large. He just grows. Okay. Not taller, he's more muscular now. You can take up more space, more boxes. I don't know if I can make him bigger, actually. That's too big. No, no, no. That's fine. I can only get him into four. Yeah, yeah he's real big now. Yeah. He's real, real big now, and he's covered in frost. And he screams. 
and he okay. is going to take his axe and he's going to do a big swing uh, at Granny and Marisol. God. Damn. Damn. Uh, he misses you, Granny. Uh, Marisol does a 12 hit. No. no. Damn. So he slices above <laughs> both of your heads. <laughs> um, but the ice is cracking around your feet. The gaps are getting wider. Yeah, I don't okay. care. I'll drown him if I have to. Uh, <laughs> uh, the ice just goes deep, deep. It's not water beneath it. It's just caverns of ice at this point. <laughs> and, and he reaches in, or he pulls the, the ice out of his impaled hand, and he's going to hurl it at you. There's a nine me. hit. At me? At you! No, it does not hit. So I'm again, tiny. this little, this little <laughs> ice snowball flies right over your little tiny head, which is but it bounces on the ground behind you and sends up, sends up cracks there too. That's oh, nice. he started his turn. Yeah. Bleed, motherfucker! <laughs> ah, he's <laughs> bleeding profusely. The ice is turning red. <laughs> Philip. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna do what I was doing before. I'm just gonna. Uh, come over here. I'll do like a, a flying uppercut, and I'll try what? to Damn. hammer him. Uh, and then the spiritual weapon will just move up, so be like above him now, uh, and try to like hammer down on his uh, head again. Uh, where is it? Whap. Yeah. Hmm. This is... hmm. Sorry, I'm taking a drink. Uh, you whack him in the face with your hammer, and he's looking pretty rough now, but your misses because he dodged out of the way from your, your thing. That's it. Um, let me... hold on. He's bloodied now. Oh. Okay. He's at least halfway. Damien. We got this, guys. I'll say... I'll, uh... I'll say, I'm gonna need a bigger gun. <laughs> I'll put away the pistol and pull out the musket. <laughs> Thirteen. Ooh, misses. Goes right between his big long legs, but also shoots over Marisol's head. Um, I'll say, I'll sing. Uh, uh, ice, ice baby. You're a bloody, <laughs> bleeding lady. <laughs> I'll inspire Marisol. Brilliant. Wow, I'm, I'm inspired. I come back to another inspiration die. Yeah. Delicious. You do the most damage. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that your turn? Yeah. That's all I got. Sir Colin. Well, seeing as how there's lots of uh, cracks around here, I need to get off. I'm going to move right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him here, right through uh, that specter here. This will be another. Uh, this is gonna be the arcane shot again. Okay. It will be an enfeebling arrow if it hits. That is a God 13. Damn. <laughs> that was a 17 hit. That hits. What does enfeebling do? I will show you here in just a second. Thank you, uh, da -da -da -da. There you go. Wow. That's nine, and he must make a DC 15 uh, Constitution saving throw, or the damage dealt by the weapon is half. He passes. Ooh. Just barely. All right. And I think that's all I can do. Okay, he's. Frosty and angry. <laughs> um, Timothy. Cool, cool. Um, just gonna keep hitting him with the fireball. <laughs> it's not feeling me. It's not feeling me. <laughs> yeah, you get him again. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'm just tapping the ground with my staff and the shining sparks. You melt a layer of ice around his shoulders. 
cool, cool. Uh, and my ghost, we ghost, we'll try to hit, hit. I hit. This is 10 hit, so yeah. Uh, Mega DC, 15 con save. Gosh. Do, 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 do. Con save? It like, yeah. yeah. It doesn't seem like he's selling cool. himself. Well, he got disadvantage on con saves. Yep, he fails. <laughs> You're holding oh. 8. Because the other one was oh, so. 21, God damn it. Oh, so his match HP goes down by the damage he took. So whatever his max Ooh. is goes down by 15. Ooh. <laughs> he's in pain. Yeah. No, he doesn't lose 15 more HP. He just can't heal. Oh, he's in pain. 15. Yeah. I did 30 damage this round. I'm good. <laughs> it has my turn. Timothy's in the back just smiling. He's just... Yeah. <laughs> and that's me turn. That's your turn. Oh, Granny! Yeah. What doth the Granny do? Getting Granny. For my bonus, I would like to hex him. Mmm! Your big tree uh, <laughs> glows to life on his massive forehead and it fades away, indicating it worked! And he has disadvantage on dexterity saves for the next Ooh, hour. Duh. And then I would like to attack him with knitting needles. Stab. Oh, oof, yep, you... <laughs> yep. How much damage is that? Uh, that's... 19. 19? He looks rough. You... You stab in the back of his shin with your knitting needle. And <laughs> you, you yank down and leave big long gouges in his calves. <laughs> and he falls to his knees again, and the ground shakes, so he will roll me more dex hex saves. One of them. Oh boy. Let's keep getting bigger. Damn, Granny. You all pass. The ground shakes and the ice splinters, but it splinters around you, and you still have solid ice to stand up. <laughs> um, is that your That's turn, Granny? It. That's it. Marisol. Okay. Channel your inner badger. I have one more blood curse that I can put down. Damn. That I am gonna put down. Also, just in case anyone is wondering, these don't count as actions. So mm. uh I'm going to use nice. Invisible Knife. Ooh. Oh, this one counts as an action. That's okay. You're so overpowered. <laughs> um, but I do get an extra attack. Does that count as extra attack, guys? No, you have to make an attack. <laughs> oh, is this an attack? Yes. Hmm. But well, it says an action, so it uses your old action. But that's but just me. It's up to the gym. Main attack weapon. Yeah. So this is an action. Whatever. Yeah. I wonder why. I guess that it's because this one actually does like it has a save. Oh yeah, no, you have to use your, your actual main attack. Yeah, for, consider yeah, it like a spell. spell. You can't just mm -hmm. attack It's an ability. Well, no, it's just... I don't know. I don't have to... All of these don't count as actions. I can use a bonus action to do things, but this is the only one that counts as an action, which is weird. So I was just wondering why this one did and the rest didn't. Anyway, um... What's your plan? Well, this doesn't require a saving throw, so one second, let me... It looks like that's pretty much just a magic missile, but someone just explodes a little bit. <laughs> like, you just cause them to hemorrhage. And it just happens, yeah, which is fine. Okay, then there. But this doesn't have the additional damage, so 1d6 slashing, let me roll. Okay. And because I dealt damage to him, we do pain. Okay, um, what does it look like when you kill him? Oh, I kill him? 
Mm hmm. Fantastic. Yeah! Well done. Um, what are you? Fuck this guy up. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I will do. Like, the invisible knife will come out from the very bottom of the ice, right? So, like, the very center of his hitbox. And it'll just, like, split him in half. Oh! Yeah. Oh, very cool. From the ground over the head. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, he is just ripped apart. And blood goes everywhere. You're all blood, except for the ghost, who's fine. Wait, and me in the back. <laughs> and it, yeah, and it, everyone it was around him just gets covered in blood, and it seeps into the ice, and you can hear it dripping down below, and he is fucking dead. And there was a crack right beneath him that, that you, I guess, made to cut him open, and from this crack, a light begins to glow. Uh, and, and... Friend, friend Philip, you feel that heart beating in your chest more and more and more and more and faster and faster and faster. And you know that this is your key. And if you step closer and peer into the crack, uh, uh, like a, uh, a shard of light, like a, like a feather for you spins up and floats out of the hole and hovers in front of your face. I snatch it. Uh, you take it in your hands and you feel that second heartbeat like it is literally in your hands because it is and it's it's beating and pumping and beating and pumping and it glows and glows and glows and you take a deep breath and it dissipates into light and you inhale it. And that energy you'd had that makes people turn to look at you and notice you different. Uh, the rest of you gatekeepers can feel it on him a bit more than you had before. And he he glows a little bit. His feathers have a, dis a new shine to them. And you have collected your first key! Yay! Congratulations! Yay. We Hello, might look at the map for... Da-da-da! Da-da-da! Da -da. Right, da next one. Who Can you what? I would like to loot his body. Uh, yeah, there is more letters in that code. Um, some aren't, and you can. T and there are correspondence between uh, someone called Thanatos. Death God. Does he have like anything else on him? Uh, coins, money. Um, math it out. The way it maths is you each get ten coins. Yep, ten gold coins. Hey, yeah. Right. And then also, you've leveled up. Wait. Oh, what? What level? You're level six now. Started your yeah. five, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, no. Okay, so I have, like, notes slash correspondence. Yeah, from the ghost to someone called Thanatos. You said he had, like, an axe, right? Yeah. But I take that. It's pretty darn big, but yeah. Strap it to the neck. I'd say it's like if two Phillips were stacked on top of each other. Okay. Yay! Uh, the ice is, is making an omelet. Oh. So. Ooh. Okay. Uh, no, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag the because he's not here, so I'll drag the axe with me. And I'm gonna skip all the way over to uh, good Sir Damien, and I'm gonna be like, "Did you, you carve see a big, that? You yeah. carve a big crease in the ice." And <laughs> yeah. More, and everyone looks. <laughs> I'll just feel like I did ruffle her hair. <laughs> like a cat bring home a dead bird. Um, Granny Mildred, that little heartbeat in your chest is just a bit strong. You. Feel a pull once again, uh, further to the west. You can feel it's across the ice ocean and back on your home continent of Kaywin. Okay. Yay! 
You're not I go to Philip. Oh, yes, 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 I am getting a little bit. It's cool. Congratulations, Philip. I'm so proud of you. Well done, Dad. Uh, it's... We need to get the others more. Yes, we should go to Kaywin. Mm-hmm. All right, when we get back to town, when we get back to town, I'll go ahead and uh, see about getting us passage. Nice. Uh, Philip, you know there's a town nearby called Thaler. We can go to a, uh, is it a, is it a port town? Another port town, yeah. There is a port town nearby. We can go there. I love the boats. I do so like a boat. <laughs> it is that way, and I point in a random direction. To the west, and a little bit north. It, it, it's that way, uh, actually. Right that way. As we're pointed. I assume we're just gonna go back outside of the dungeon and end tonight. Yeah, yes, we can call it now if you'd like. Can I um in can I search the dungeon for anything useful? Yes, or let's go back to my dungeon. Uh, I like my dungeon. <laughs> I, I won't even make you guys fight the slimes I hid in here. You just get to explore. <laughs> So, well, I want to try and take a peek around a lot. Pretty. Yeah, well, I won't even make you fight the slimes. We're not going to fight slimes. Don't the, fight that slime anymore. smell is all gone now, so I think it's safe. It's still, it lingers, but uh, you don't hear any more slurping noise. Uh, quick question, Cheese. Yeah. Would this man be CR1 or lower? Oh, fuck, I don't even know what I made him at. Uh, he was technically a frost giant. Oh, uh, definitely Sierra one. <laughs> yeah, uh, where does it tell me? It was an eight. Yeah, no. I uh, tweaked with it a little, so it wasn't exactly. I don't fucking understand how that uh, works then, because I'm then. bad, but. Yeah, then I'm just going to mummify him. You mummify him? Yeah, as I take his life energy from his body. Okay, cool. There's a big cut in half mummy on the ice now. And replenish my spell slot with that energy. <laughs> <laughs> Big frosty mummy. Yeah, that's why I say like me using spell slots, I can I, I can do a certain number of day, just take energy from people and then replenish it, replenish spell slots with that. I am a horrifying person if I kill people. <laughs> Please, if Ooh. we go anywhere near the torture chamber, could I try and just loot some interesting implements? Yeah, you get uh, some loose spikes from the Iron Maiden there. <laughs> And some sturdy manacles. Uh, yeah. If we're doing that, then um, Timothy will go continue to explore the place before the rest of the night. Fighting people. Yeah. No, yeah. they are already dead here. I before I already modified one person. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna explore the rest of this place and then draw a map of it himself and then take anything that's half historic value. Yeah, there's lots of knickknacks. All these broken pottery shards in here. Yeah, uh, this room's imagine. full of just like storage shit. Um, yeah, maybe. yeah. Before Mister, I can do everything at once goes. What did I find? Where were you looking again? Just in rooms. I uh, yeah, just in rooms. Just looking you for anything some... special. I'll okay. cast detect magic. Just to do it. Okay, you find some sacrificial daggers up here. Okay. Um, can you leave me one? Nope. Yeah, you, there's one that's kind of magic-y. Uh, with necrotic damage. I'll give you stats for it if you want. And then, uh, Timothy, the one you get is just a regular dagger. It's fine. Like, I wasn't going to use the dagger anyway, so go to somebody who will actually use it. <laughs> yeah. Um, up hey here, guys, Timothy. Great oh. fun. Thank you, Dame. And I'll yes. see you all next week. Uh, see you afternoon. next week. Thanks for playing. Hey. Hey. Who is um, next week? What? Uh, it's Cameron's game next week. Good, good. Nah. Um, Timothy, you find old prison records up here. Ooh, I want to meet those. Not a ton of people have ever been imprisoned here, but it's pretty old, so there's a, a decent amount. It's just been a long time since anyone's been imprisoned. Oh, boy. Uh, last place I'll check cheese in this room, and then what is this trap door? Okay, um, <laughs> in, in this room, uh, you find, like, 
guard rotation schedules and uh, resets on all the traps. Nothing magical? Uh, no. <laughs> and then when you open that door, there's a big, like, slushy, gelatinous cube. And you go, oh, and you close it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was one here. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that blow me then. Other than the, the cube? No. I'll even okay. put his token up. Also, there was one hiding over here. I oh. Right. I'm not gonna make you fight the cubes, but <laughs> oh, gelatinous um, cubes—that'd be horrible. Jeez, I would yes. like to investigate this place to see if I can find any information on like who. You know what? I think I might have to DM you just in case. Okay. Yes, yeah, but that idea. is the general end of our session. I can answer questions if. Okay, but... then I will go ahead and stop recording here. Uh, Bye, everybody. Anybody who's watching, have fun.